Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to reuse a hydraulic fitting. Like if you have some specialty fitting that's got a, um, like a, a hard line on it that you know could take weeks to come in or something, a lot of them are on loaders and excavators, just pieces of equipment. Um, this is a simpler line that I have here that I'll show you on, but it's a little bit different fitting. I mean, most people would have it, but I'll just show you an example. fitting right here is a 3 8 line hose to a half inch NP NPT thread. So it's not a one to one basically like a, a 3 8 to a 3 8 NPT. So it's a little bit different fitting but this will be an example. So I'm going to get this thing cut off right here. This will be a good length for you to work with. I'll bring it over to the vise here and get it set up in a way that I can cut at this ferrule basically on both sides of it. So I got this thing set up here kind of sideways in the vise and I'm going to need a grinder. Right now I got a wire wheel on it but I will grab a cutoff wheel and basically what I'm going to do is make a cut here down this side and then make another cut on the other side and then I'll cut around where the, the factory like front crimp is here to relieve it from the groove that it's in. Okay, so I got the grinder here. So I'm gonna make a cut basically like this. One cut like this first, and then I'll flip it over and make another cut. And sometimes you need to make a couple. thing about this fitting I made it difficult because since this is a bigger diameter right here getting the cutting disc in there without hitting that nut is kind of hard so this is definitely a more difficult one to do like finishing it off with a Dremel or something you could do that but I hate Dremels they're just I mean they're just little tools they aren't farm <laughs> they aren't really uh, farm rated you know grinder for everything so I kind of got it cut in there just a little bit as you guys can see, um, I'll flip it over here and cut this other side. And I might have to make a sideways cut or something, we'll see. That one I nicked it a little bit because I'm trying to get farther. Um, I might have to nick it a little bit. This is like something if you're in a pinch you can do. So you might have to live with that if the fitting's got a big flare. But a lot of those lines are just straight. Like you won't even have a problem um, cutting far enough. I'm going to cut the other one a little deeper here. Well, and I kind of chose a bad spot here because this is the tallest part. If I would have cut it right in the middle. It would have been better, but whatever. So I have it cut a little bit. Um, I'm then going to try to cut around this circle where it's crimped in there to relieve it. So I'm going to do that right now. We got that right there. Watch this thing. Cut it like this. So I still haven't hit any part of the fitting yet. So I'm, I'm right there. So I'll flip it over and cut it again on this side.
So we'll give that a shot, see if I can get it popped off of there. So as you can see, I just kind of cut around there. There's a, there's a void and a little lip in there. Hopefully I can get that fitting popped off there. So put it in a vise like this. Grab a flathead screwdriver. I mean, a bigger line, you need something more than a flathead screwdriver, maybe a, a punch, but this size line, you usually get away with it. A screwdriver sometimes, so we'll... have the right spot where I'm trying to break this thing off kind of working against the vise here okay that side's kind of broke loose side broke loose there So, I'm going to try to now, um, oh yeah, now you can start seeing the little, the little piece that it crimps on. So I need to cut ahead of that where that, uh, where the actual ferrule is so I can get that thing to pop off with this last bit. So I kind of, I should have done two cuts. like we're getting close I can see a hot spot in there so we're getting close to uh, uh, a layer change to basically the inside diameter so let's see if we can get it popped off Just spin it on me. So, if you guys can see here, we have, we have it like that. And I'll pull this line off. So now, we have a fitting that basically looks like this. It's ready to go. Yeah, some spots that I touched it, but I mean, I'm trying to go fast just to show you guys, but you can see what I did. So now we have a ferrule, but this type of ferrule is kind of the wrong, the wrong type of ferrule because it's got this hole that uh, is the wrong size to go around basically this right here. So it hits that. So this hole, I need to just make a little bigger so that it slides over there. So I'll do that real quick with just the, um, die grinder, I mean, it's not that bad. So now it goes on there. Let me get a piece of this old line cut off um, that I can show you basically how I crimp it. So I got a chunk of uh, line ready for this thing and I'll move the camera over. Just an old piece of line. 
uh, wipe it off. But I'll show you how I crimp it. Okay, so got my crimper over here. I have another video kind of reviewing this crimper. It's from AliExpress. So if you want to go see how it works and stuff, uh, go watch that video. So that was the other thing for us to say about this thing. You kind of want to mark your depth here so you make sure you get your fitting all the way in there. So that's kind of proper on these because they get a little harder to get the fittings in sometimes. Okay, so I got this thing pushed all the way on in here. Make sure all the way on, and it is. Put it in the back. I already have my crimp diameter set. So, let me see if I can show you here. So here's the final hydraulic crimp. I don't go all the way to the top just because it kind of flares it, but it pushes that, that front piece kind of up into the groove where the other one was, so it does lock it in there. But yeah. There's if you're in a pinch. I mean, that hose, I've had a couple of these and they've never broken, even if they've been super ghetto. Never had any problems with them. Well, that's how I uh, reuse old fittings. And if you want to see how this crimper works from AliExpress, uh, I have another video just showing how it works and things, because it is kind of crucial that you can dial in your diameter for these certain fittings. It's just, this machine lets me do all that because all these name brand things are set uh, dead stop dies and I can just choose whatever I crimp. So it's kind of nice, but um, just like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thanks.